I guess it boils down to, do you want to have a trade-off between the environment and, and human rights? You know, that those are sort of false dichotomies. Mm -hmm. um, but, but what happens is a factory gets a fair trade certification, for instance. And that means that um, they're buying, let's say, 100 tons of beans that are fair trade certified. And then they produce enough chocolate that says, you know, these are fair trade, uh, that we have the certification. And so this percentage of our production can be called fair trade certified. But it doesn't trace back to the bean. So you can't say, this chocolate bar was um, you know, produced using fair trade beans. So it's sort of like um, carbon credits. It's sort of you know, mass balance um, issue. Uh, and so you know, this is where the internet of food comes into play. Because being able to say, this chocolate bar was made from these beans um, is an extraordinary opportunity that we have, thanks to some software called Cropster. And Cropster was designed for the coffee industry. And um, if you look at uh, the Cropster applications that we have, there's a picture of the farmer. There's the you know, uh, GPS coordinates of his farm. There's a list of the different varieties of cocoa that he produces and the annual quantities of each. And there is the fact that he dropped off you know, three tons of beans on Tuesday. And this is lot number 74A69. And here are the tasting notes from lot number 74A69. And you know, we bought that lot, and we added it into this vat of fruity. And this vat of fruity produced these chocolate bars. And you know, that's a level of you know, control which is extraordinary. And so you know, the next steps for us would be, for instance, to have an RFID chip you know, that can track that sort of from, you know, from our factory, or you could put it on the bag of beans so that you could track the bag of beans all the way through the process. But yeah. once it's out of that bag, it would, it would lose that. But then you could pick it up with a QR code, say, on the bar itself. And then you can track that through your distribution channel. Um, and you can tell the story, you know. But um, the problem is we deal with a lot of micro lots. Um, because we're still trying to get a larger percentage of the total production to come from you know, one cooperative. Um, but you know, sometimes it's, I got to get Joe's and George's and you know, everybody else's together. So then that becomes a complicated story. So that you could just have it be at the cooperative level, but I think it's so much more interesting to have you know, the farmer's face on it. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's the sort of thing that, um, that Crop, Cropster enables. And I think that's the sort of uh, exciting opportunity that we have going forward is to tell those stories. <laughs>